Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a grammar school. White nails. How to fix them? Sometimes I don't know what is better, to keep them natural or to do an extension. In this video I will share with you some tips and tricks that will make the nails look narrower. Let's get into it. Here are today's nails. My previous video on correcting white nails has got more than 150k views so I'm sure you will like this one as well. Looking at the nail tips, we can see that they aren't just wide, their width is more than the nail bed length, but they also curl badly on the tips. In this particular case, you may think that a nail extension is definitely better. Some of you may say that it's easier to remove the length and extend the nails in you, but it's not the case here. Today, I will try to fix the natural nail shape. There are a few tricks that will help me to do it. The first one is to process the cuticle well. Our task is to open up the lateral sinus as well. Then the nail plate will look narrower from the sides. Right now the cuticle line looks trapezoidal. I know that it may be difficult to process the sinuses properly, but you just need to do it right once. Try not to overfile them. And once you learn the ropes, you will do it perfectly. Make sure to pull the skin well, turn the fingers so as not to cut the skin, and don't make long moves here. Now I buff the nail plate and proceed with cutting the cuticle. My model's cuticle is wet, so I'm using scissors. I work carefully, close the blades by half, and watch my model's reaction. Only then I make a step further. This way we can get an even cut without any injuries. It's perfect when it's your regular client and you know where exactly you need to cut deeper. I had to work extremely carefully today. The next trick for narrowing the nail plate is to file it correctly. For this, I place the file perpendicularly and file the sides, narrowing them. Don't press the file in the gross points so as not to overfile them and form layers. But as we can see, it doesn't work on some of the nails, since they curl badly and grow downwards. So I will need to fix them using a hard material. I compare the nail length from the cuticle to the free edge, using a measuring tool. It should be the same. Make sure to turn the hand away to check the symmetry of the oval shape. The middle nail grows downwards and my task is to fix it by filing it more from one side and less from the other one to make it look symmetrical visually. Look how much we can transform the nails only by filing them correctly. I think that the difference is striking already. And what do you think? Write in the comments. It's time for the coating. I degreased the nail plate and applied adhesive products. A dehydrator to dry the nail plate since my model's nails are wet and a primer with a squeezed out brush. Never layer the primer to avoid liftings. The nails are down growing and curved, so I apply a rubber base coat as an underlay. Looking at the tips, we can see that some of the nails are wavy. And to fix them, I will use polygel. It will help to build up the architecture and make the nails even. I grab a small drop and put it on the free edge. I won't form the new nail from the cuticle to the free edge part. I will just lift up the curved tips. Somehow I didn't start with the middle nail and the index one touched my glove. Well, I need to fix it now, and it's great that Acrygel is very plastic. I make sure that it's all even and send the nail to cure. Welcome to our new segment, Nail Experiment. Today we will test out top coat hardness. I will cover up the tips with three different top coats. I apply a medium layer just as I do on the clients here in the lamp for 30 seconds. To test out the coating, I will use a regular brush and a brass one. 
first, I brush the surface with a regular one. There are no visible changes. I intentionally try to scratch it. The second one still looks great. All of them do. And now let's try to scratch them with a brass brush. Scratch it about five times. The next one. Let's look at the tabs under a super macro lens. There are such tiny scratches on all of them. The first one looks the worst. There are lots of scratches here. So this way we can test out our top coats. Like this segment? Then give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for more nail experiments in the next video. Let me know in the comments which nail experiments you want me to do and I will gladly do them for you. In the meantime, I proceed with filing the extended part. To fix the curved tip, I place the file under the nail bleed. Lift up the lower parallels and they get even. I slightly file the surface to make the tip narrower and more elegant. I degrease the nail bleed. Now I need to align it using a gel polish base coat in a milky shade. I think it's the most popular base coat shade at the moment, so every nail tag should have one. I apply a medium layer. The main material volume is near the cuticle. There is no need for it on the free edge since some of the nails were extended. But if we take a closer look, the middle nail looks fat, which makes it wider visually. So here's the next life hack. We need to build up the architecture correctly. Then the nail will look more elongated and narrowed. The next life hack is applying color close to the cuticle and in the sinuses. We need to paint these zones carefully. Use a thin brush if you need. And when it comes to the sides that make the nail wider, we can paint them leaving the last half to one millimeter untouched. As for the color, we have chosen this deep green one. Since it's dark, it will make the nail plate narrower visually. In my previous video with white nails, I was using a bright orange shade. And there were some comments saying that it didn't look good. But it was the choice of the client not mine. So it happens. We need to put the client's opinion first. On the pastel nails, I will add the pattern imitating the tiger's fur. After getting cured, this silver gel paint will look glossy, almost like a mirror. Make sure to make the lines uneven, as if with a shaking hand, since perfectly even lines won't look natural. And if you paint straight lines, they will look like a bunch of sticks. Not natural, not what we need. I need to file out the extra thickness from the inside. For this, I'm using a thin carbide drill bit. I love this particular moment under a macro lens. On one nail, I decided to add some reflective glitter with pigment. I think it looks great. So these were the tips. Did you know all of them? or some of them were new to you. If you like this transformation, give this video a thumbs up. Today I was working with natural nails, but there is a video on my channel on how to fix white trapezoidal nails with extension, so check it out too. Success in your work! Bye bye!